Today we're going to go over how to set up a market watch report in your agent control panel. Log into the DeltaNet at online.equitygroup.com and then click on the name of the customer you want to add a market watch report for. A new window is going to pop up. Towards the right here in the middle you will see a green button that says add a market watch. Click that. You will be given two choices, one by market, one by radius. By radius is going to give you the most accurate information, so go ahead and click that. A map of the United States will appear, and at the very top you'll see an empty field where you can type the address. Once you've typed the address, come over to the right hand side and click the locate button. The map will change to be centered on that address with a radius of one-tenth of a mile from that address. You can click on the handles and drag to make the radius larger. Just keep dragging, the map will get larger. When you release it, you will see how far you out in, are out. In this case, I'm about a half a mile. If you want to see the map larger, you can just drag the slider a little bit so the map appears larger. And again, go back and drag your handle a little bit more we can see we're at 0.65 miles, a little bit more here. Now we're just over a mile around the address. Once you've got the radius pretty close to where you want it, go ahead and click the Save button. That's it. Your client will receive a market watch report that afternoon or the next day, and then every 30 days after that with all of the sold properties in that radius, as well as some of the new listings in that radius. You also have the choice to do by market, but in with our MLS and how it's set up, the by market choice does not give as accurate information as the by radius choice. I am going to go over the by market choice if for those of you who want to keep watching and understand how it works. Click by market, put in your state, put in your county, and when you ty start typing in market, this is where it gets a little confusing. If you type in a market like Bethany, you're going to see a bunch of choices that start with the word subdivision. That means that all of the listings that are pulled for this market watch report have to have these words in the neighborhood or subdivision field in RMLS, which RMLS does not require. So most of the listings don't have anything in that field. The market watch will only pull the listings that exactly match what you type here and choose if you choose subdivision. That's why it's not an accurate choice. If you type in city, you're going to see where it just says Tigered, Oregon here. That means it's going to pull all the listings that have Tigered in the city field in RMLS, which is required, so it's going to give you all of the listings in Tigered, but that's a pretty broad market watch. Again, you have subdivision choices. Those are the listings that have these words, Tigerdville Heights or Tigerd, in the neighborhood subdivision field, which is not required. Your other choice is going to be area, Tiger to Walton, Sherwood, Wilsonville. This is the MLS area for Tiger to Walton, Sherwood, Wilsonville, which again is very, very broad. So if you choose by market, you're going to have a much broader search than if you choose by radius. That's why the by radius choice is going to be your best choice for pinpoint accuracy. The same thing applies when you're doing a save search. If you type in market here, your choices are going to be a city, an MLS area, or whatever's in the subdivision field in RMLS, which is not generally accurate. Even those subdivisions that people think everybody puts it in, they find that there's listings missing. So I recommend for the save search that you do it on the front end of your site. If you have questions, call the marketing department and we will help walk you through. Thanks.